Welcome to YouTube Ads 101, where I will show you how to run ads the simple and easy way. In a moment, I will show you the seven simple steps to start generating targeted traffic to your business. Please pay close attention because if you miss a step, you will lose money. If you do a step incorrectly, you will lose money. And if you do it out of order, you will also lose money. I'm not kidding. It took me years to figure out all the mistakes I was making when running ads. The reason why so many of my students are successful is because they follow this proven system. I was able to start running ads on my YouTube page and I had much better results than I ever had when I did it on my own. I noticed a huge spike in, in traffic, which was amazing. I saw it, I got traffic to my website and I started getting a lot more sales. June is gonna make sure that you do not waste any money in the process. Okay, let's get right into it. After years of running ads, I broke down everything you need to do into seven simple steps. Step one, set up your Google Ads account and create a brand new YouTube channel just to run ads. A lot of people run ads on their regular account and it's a mistake because your viewers will not bother to like your ads, let alone leave a comment on it. Videos with tons of views but not much engagement will drag your entire channel down and hurt the reach of your channel. Step 2. You have to do the research now. I used to make this mistake. I used to let my pride get the best of me. I used to think, I know what I'm selling. I know why people will want it. I know what people want to hear. Psst, I was so delusional. That's why the first ads that I ran got low views and low clicks. If only I bothered to do the research first before I created my ads, I would have known the conversations that is already taking place in my niche. So do the research now to figure out what people are searching for and what they are specifically typing in YouTube and Google to have their needs met. This makes the third step, ad creation, way easier. Some people fear making ads because they don't know what to say in their ads to convince viewers to take action. But if they did the research, they'll know the exact keywords people are searching for. And you simply say those exact keywords in your ads and you are done. This will instantly double your views and clicks right there. Once your ad is created, it's time for step 4, which is to design your landing page. This is another step that people waste a lot of time on. Creating the perfect design, choosing the perfect photos, writing the perfect copywriting script. Do you know what is the number one reason why visitors don't convert once they landed on your landing page? They don't convert because your landing page didn't reflect the ad that they just saw. The ad and the landing page should have similar fonts, styles, look, and feel. If it doesn't match, people won't convert. This is why we design our landing page after we create our ads to match everything up so that your visitors will feel comfortable opting in to your business. Now that your landing page is finalized, step 5 is to install the Google tags on your landing pages so that every visit, every opt-in, and every purchase will be recorded by Google. This may sound complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. It's just like installing the Facebook Pixel. If you're having trouble doing this, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll do a tutorial for you. Then you can finally proceed to step 6, which is to set up your ad campaigns. The main thing that you want to watch out for is all the options that Google Ads throws at you. More options is a good thing, right? Well, only if you know what you're doing. Unfortunately, most don't and they end up wasting tons of ad spend because they left their campaign on Google's default settings, such as allowing your ad to be shown on YouTube search results or video partners on the display network, which is like flushing money down the toilet because you are allowing Google to show your ads in places where you have no control over. People are watching your ads without a sincere interest in your product or service and you waste money in ad spend. If you are worried about this, don't be, because in the next video, I will show you the major potholes to avoid when setting up your ad campaigns, so stay tuned for that. And finally, after a few days have gone by and your campaigns had a chance to run and gather some data, then it's time for step 7, which is to analyze the data and optimize your campaigns so that you get at least $2 back for every $1 you spend, okay? So here is the complete 7 step process to run YouTube ads correctly and successfully. So what do you think? Is there a certain step that's causing you a lot of trouble? 
let me know in the comment section and I will help you out. Remember, I'm making these videos just for you and I want to make sure you get value from them, so let me know. Now that you know the 7 steps in running YouTube ads, let me show you how to create a new campaign in Google Ads in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button because in the next video, I will show you all the major default settings in Google Ads that will waste your ad spend. You don't want to start a campaign or continue a campaign without watching this video because it will literally save you hundreds of dollars in unnecessary ad spend. I'll see you in the next episode.